Hey everyone, it's Josh here from KickSigs now, bringing you my next review. Now you guys are probably thinking, oh man, not another juice review. Uh, we're getting a little bored of these ones. Well, this one actually isn't. This is actually a gear review. Um, I was given uh, this tank. It is going to be a tank review. You guys have seen Andy post a little bit about it up up on the KickSigs now form or Facebook group. Um, and he gave me one or brought me one to give it a try and see what I thought about it. <clears throat> Alright, so... <clears throat> Excuse me guys, I got a little bit of a frog going on right now, but hey, try to get through it. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick little overview of this thing, and then I'm going to switch over to a breakdown or pulling it apart, showing you guys what it looks like. <clears throat> For anybody who hasn't seen this tank yet, I'm not sure if Andy's posted pictures yet, it's actually called a Freemax Tetra. All right? Never really heard of this tank before. Um, Andy mentioned it to me, you guys see it's on my box mod. Um, this is a sub-ohm tank as well. All right, uh, just like some of the newer ones that are coming out, like the Atlantis and the Kanger sub tank and stuff like that. Um, this is one that I haven't seen yet. Um, I know it's down in the states. I'm pretty sure it's down in the states, but it's uh, right now there are people looking to bring it up here to Canada. And I'm going to tell you guys, I'm really impressed with this thing. Um, like I said, I'm going to go into a uh, just a breakdown. I'm going to give you guys a quick overview. I'm just going to actually pull it off here right now. And before I go to the breakdown, I will show you guys how it vapes and how it works. So I can get you guys just a quick little close-up of this guy here. Hopefully it focuses. There you go. All right, so you guys notice uh, the airflow holes there. All right, there are five on this side. And if I rotate it, there are five on the other. So there's actually 10 air holes on this thing. Hopefully it doesn't go out of focus. And they can be adjusted. So you can drop down not to one hole because, like I said, it's double-sided. So you guys can see um, if I do the one hole on the one side when I rotate it, get another hole on the other, on the other side. So you are going to be doing uh, combinations of two, so two, four, six, eight, ten air holes. But it is a really nice uh, tank, uh, really nice draw on it. I'm going to throw it back onto my mod and I'm going to talk a bit a li little bit more. Um, it is stainless, all right. So it is completely stainless minus the uh, clear portion of the tank there, which is Pyrex. All right, so you guys don't have to worry about that. No uh, tank crackers or high acidic juices should crack this thing. Removable 510 tip, so you can actually switch out your tip. All right, and I know you guys are wondering, how does this thing vape? And then I'll get it, once I do the breakdown, I'll explain more about the coils and everything here. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how this works. <laughs> it's a peppermint juice, so it hits like a tank. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't do that very often on a video, because that's sometimes the reaction. <coughs> you guys are allowed to laugh at me. Um, the coil that is in this right now is a 0.6 ohm, so it is a sub-ohm sub -ohm coil. Excuse me. <coughs> Woo! Alright, that juice is uh, from 705 Premium out in Peterborough, Candy Cane hits well. Um, as you guys can tell, this thing's got some pretty good throat hit on it. Um, I drip 18, and for me to have a reaction like that from a tank, it's very, very rare for me. Um, even on some of the other sub-ohm tanks, um, I don't have that type of reaction to it, even with the high menthol or high uh, peppermint juices. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'm going to go down to the breakdown, tear this thing apart. I'm not going to be able to, you know, roll it around too much when it's apart just because there is some juice in here. Six mils, it's a good sized tank, takes a little while to actually uh, go through it. So I'll be right back with you guys for the breakdown. All right guys, I'm back now. This is uh, gonna be the breakdown portion of the tank. Hopefully the focus stays uh, you know, within reason here so you guys can see what's going on. So yeah, just get a little bit better close up here. Like I said, it is stainless. All right, there is the 10 airflow holes on it. And like I showed in the previous portion of the video there, um, it is dual sided so uh, yeah, uh, you're going to do two air flow, like air holes, four, six, eight, or ten. And they do have the little indicators right above it here to show you where the actual holes are so you don't have to guess. Again, like I said, removable 510 trip, uh, drip tip. All right, the thing I liked about this is actually double O-rings on it. Uh, it's going to be hard for you guys to see. Yeah, double O-rings, so it actually fits in there really, really nice. A little bit small, in my opinion, on the actual opening, but hey, it's not bad for a tank. All right, so let's get this thing broken down here. All right, so kind of like some like one of the other tanks I saw. All right, the whole bottom just unscrews here. All right, you don't have to worry about losing your juice because everything inside is sealed. So you can actually take it apart. There you go. And leave it upside down. You're not going to lose your juice. 
All right, and there's the bottom portion. This thing is only three parts, so you don't have to worry about losing any pieces or anything like that. Um, one thing I wasn't a big fan of is this little brace across here. All right, I know it's uh, necessary just because of the chimney and everything, but it does collect juice a little bit. A little bit of a pain for me, but hey, you know, it is what it is. I tend to get, when I pull it apart, you guys can see I've got some juice around the ring there. But it does work. Up inside here where the chimney is, it's going to be hard to see, there is a silicone O-ring. So that's where your seal is on between the coil and the chimney. And on the base part here, right around the threads, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Hopefully it focuses. There we go. There is a silicone O-ring as well. All right, now I'm going to talk a little bit about the coil here. I'm going to actually take the coil out for you guys, so just bear with me for a minute. Just like your standard tanks, the coil just unscrews. You throw it out, grab a new one, throw her back in. I'm babying this one because I only have one coil that came with it, so <clears throat> I'm babying it right now. All right, and just don't mind the juice all over my hands because, like I said, I have juice on my hands. Let that focus. All right, as you guys can see, the actual wick hole all right, shaped like an H. It's actually a really beefy air hole. Uh, not air hole, but wick hole. All right, and that is to feed the actual coils inside. I'm going to see if I can get a close-up of how far these coils actually go up. You're going to see that that coil is almost right near the top, and you guys are probably asking, why do they have the coils up so high? Hopefully it focuses. All right. reason they have the coils up so high is because this is actually a single atomizer but it's quad coils so there's four horizontal co uh, coils in this thing which is what's giving you your vapor production as well as your throat hit and the flavor forgot to mention in the previous uh, version or the previous part of this uh, video the flavor off this is superb um, I've had a few guys try it or a few of my friends actually try it uh, one last night and he wouldn't give it back he kept hitting it over and over and over and over again that's why I'm a little bit low on juice on this tank right now because I'm pretty sure he vape half that tank on me last night just bear with me i'm trying to get the coil back in here but with the juice on it it's a little bit of a pain there you go and the coil just screws right back down into the base there um very very simple setup uh very well made it's it's heavy um i haven't weighed it yet if anybody's interested in what the actual weight on this thing is i will uh you know throw it on a scale and weigh it um but like i said you know, you got your three pieces here. The top piece here, I'm not going to rotate it too far. It's all one unit, so be careful if you guys do break the glass. Um, I haven't seen any replacements for it yet. If I do come across any, like just this section, I'll let you guys know. Um, but everything inside is self-contained, so like I said, you don't have to worry about you know vaping all the juice out or pulling it apart and losing all your juice. Um, so you can just pull it apart, switch the coil out, drop it back together. And putting it back together, just as easy as taking it apart. You just basically... Throw the base on, line up the threads. You're gonna you're gonna see a ton of juice on my hands here just because I did pull the uh, the coil out, so I did let some juice down into where the airflow holes are. But you know, it is what it is. I can clean this out, not a problem. All right. Yeah, don't mind the drip of juice there. Like I said. All right. And once it's back together. All right. Works really well, looks really good. Ah, there's my fingerprint, so if anybody wants to look me up, feel free. Um, I haven't tried any high VG juices in this yet. Uh, right now I'm running 50-50, uh, I believe it is. So it does wick really well. I will add a note or a comment, <clears throat> excuse me, on the video state, uh, just letting you guys know how it works with high VG juices. I did talk to Andy. He has tried stuff as high as 80, uh, like 80% 80 VG. And he didn't have a problem at all with it wicking or anything like that. All right, so I'm just going to rotate the camera back up here. All right. Sorry, guys. There we go. Yeah, so overall opinion on this tank. Um, very, very solid design. Very solid tank. Um, I've bumped it around a bit. Um, I've dropped it off the table. No issues, no dings, no scratches, no uh, cracks or anything in the tank. And my overall opinion on the actual vapor production, like you guys saw in the previous uh, portion, I'll do it again. All right, it's phenomenal. Um, it's actually becoming one of my favorite tanks just for the ease of use um, and the overall flavor. Uh, this thing is 
right up there with uh, some of the other tanks and actually up there not quite dripper level um, but close enough and with the six mil tank you can go on this thing for a couple days depending on your vaping habits <coughs> excuse me so would I recommend this tank I would definitely recommend giving it a shot all right I haven't had any negatives on it yet um, but if I do come across any I will let you guys know I've um, been going on this coil now I'd say about a week so um, like I said I've been babying this one because it is the only coil I have but haven't noticed any burnt flavors um, haven't noticed any uh, dry hits anything like that one thing I will say okay there was one negative it does take a while to prime with the four coils in it it does take a while so what you might want to do is just drop a few drops into the coil just to help uh, get them primed a little bit quicker so you don't have to sit around too long I think I waited about 15 minutes before this thing was actually ready to go uh, so if you guys have any questions uh, hit me up uh, once I know of any shops that are actually carrying this up here in Canada I will put it onto the YouTube uh, comments for this video uh, you guys can check out all the comments um, I'll send I'll put a link to the actual website you guys you guys can do a little bit more reading on it they do have uh, some of the information on the website there's some other tanks that they have as well that use the same coil just smaller capacity I have one of those I'm gonna be reviewing as well um, so yeah if you guys have any questions hit me up uh, I'll try to find the answers if I don't know them and uh, you guys have a great day um, hopefully have another review out in a little while because I'm trying to get caught up on everything with the holidays so you guys have a good one